What's up everyone, Wubo here and as a certified prosthetist in this video I'm going to talk to you why your prosthesis is so yeah, damn expensive. If you're new to my channel I release videos weekly discussing various topics about technology and how to use it to improve your life and your health. So if you're new consider subscribing and thank you for watching. To all my returning subscribers out there like at Reticia Tony, I see you, appreciate you watching, and thank you for your support. Before I jump into today's topic, I'd like for you to answer a question for me in the comments below. Have you ever had to pay for a prosthetic limb out of pocket? If so, how much? I'm very curious to read your answer because I wanna know exactly how much people are being charged in this country as well as everywhere else in the world. So leave your answers below. Because the name of this video is why prosthetics are so expensive, I'm gonna go over that detail with you, but I'm also gonna share with you how to avoid unnecessary expenses by choosing the right provider. So let's jump into the video. Here in America, when you visit your doctor, you most likely have to pay for your visit and for the doctor's time. Regardless if you receive a prescription or treatment or care, your visit alone is at a cost. And this cost is called your copay. It pays for the doctor's offices to keep running or helps pay for the doctor's office to keep running. This is not the case when it comes to prosthetics here in America. We actually do not bill for our time. Because of that, our consultations are free and don't cost you anything at all. That is one of the main factors that's driving the cost of prosthesis up here in America. Because in other countries, we are capable of billing for our time, but in the United States, that's not the case. I'm sure there's some lobbyists and some governmental issues that won't allow us to do that at this time, but that's the case right now. And because of that, Every service that we provide you, from your initial consult to the delivery, to follow-ups, to even adjustments, has to be lumped up into one billable care. This means that before the provider is paid, he or she is responsible for investing the money to treat you. That includes all the materials to build your limb, to take your molds, to take your castings, to attach your foot, everything like that, and hope to get reimbursed at the later back end once your product is delivered. Now this is a costly business because one component alone can cost two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 minimum. And because of that investment, it's important that the provider looks and focuses on what's best for you and in your best interest. Know that your relationship with your provider is very important, not only to you, but it's very important to us. We're invested in the lifetime care of you. Your prosthetic limb is not just a one-time treatment. You're going to need follow-ups. You're going to need adjustments. You're going to need rebuilds. You are probably going to gain weight. You're probably going to lose weight. You're going to get older. You're going to be more active. We want to be there to make sure that we are helping you achieve your goals. Now, how do you find the right provider for you? Well, let's talk about that. But before we do, if you like the information I've shared so far, make sure you hit that like button below. Remember, every time you hit that like button below, that does support my page and allow for me to keep sharing this information to everyone that needs it. But back to the topic, how do you find the right provider? What I recommend for you to do is to get on Google and search for the providers in your area. Type in prosthetist. Try to get two or three in your area that you would like to interview because you don't want to commit to just the first one that you talk to. You want to interview each one. And like I said earlier in this video, there's no copay for our time. There's no cost for our time. So anyone that's worthwhile is going to offer you a free consultation to let you know what your options are. Every consultation that you have with a provider, make sure you bring your own questions. If you don't know what to ask, I've actually made a video about the 10 most common questions every amputee should ask their provider. I'll put the link above and also list it in the description below. Use that to your advantage and ask them these questions. Their answers is going to give you a clear indication if they're invested in your best interests and in your goals. Once you have thought it over and made your decision, then you can give your prosthetist or provider a call and let them know that you're willing to work with them. Give them the green light and then they can proceed. No one should be proceeding without your green light first. If they do, that's someone you don't want to work with and that's another red flag. Hey, I thank all of you for your time and listening to me and providing you some of the information of my experiences in this field. I hope that you can use it to your advantage. If you like this video, once again, hit that like button below. But I also have a few more videos right here that I've recently posted that I think you'll like as well. I do thank all of you for your time and hope to see you guys in the future. Take care.